Welcome to Face to Face, and today we're going to talk about uh, LGBT and the military. I'm with uh, Willem, and uh, she's fantastic. She just decided to come today, and I was so pleased to have you on the show. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. So, so our uh, president took the decision to uh, ban LGBT, uh, transgender, in, from the military. In consultation with his generals, he and tells us. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> On the news, it, after it that, it, I know. on the news, it became a little bit more yeah. complicated. Then. Yes, indeed. So, can you describe a little bit more what? Um... I, I can, uh, but I should begin by okay. saying I, I've not been in the military myself. Mm -hmm. So, my perspective is uh, as a trans woman okay. being uh, apprised of day to day events mm -hmm. uh, through a number of transgender organizations mm -hmm. of which I'm a member. Mm -hmm. um, and those organizations, uh, as well as uh, testimonials by uh, individuals, transgender folks in the military, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also those who've retired from the military, mm -hmm. as well as what we call cisgender or non-transgender people mm -hmm. in the military and retired, mm -hmm. are overwhelmingly in favor of, of maintaining transgender people yeah. in the military. Mm -hmm. So. I, I think the real issue, and, and what I feel most strongly about, um, is that this is a wedge that this administration, and in particular Pence and, and uh, um, Baum. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, and our uh, Attorney General mm -hmm. uh, and, and others uh, who are right-wing rigid extremists are trying to drive into our country. Yeah, because I was like, does this, it's a media story? What, 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 what do you gain by, you, by, by going there? You, I mean, you, you, it's, it's, you, it's, you've hit it perfectly. Yeah. You don't, you, what you gain is putting a few thousand people exactly. out of one point some odd million exactly. in the military exactly. in pain in and pain. discomfort. And, 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 and just... And, um, it's a naming. It's, it's the the only reason uh, is to arouse uh, uh, an emotional reaction mm -hmm. among the population, exactly. and as a beginning to mm -hmm. expand this attack or assault on lesbians, gays, bisexual, mm -hmm. and transgender. Mm -hmm. we, we transgender folks are really the you know the minority mm -hmm. in in this whole business. Yeah, but. Um, uh, they're aiming to go after... But does the, the Christians have, 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 have everything to do with this story? Because uh, it, it's, it's to please some of, of, of the political... Uh, it definitely to, to please political powers, authorities, but uh, I would not call them Christians. I, I, I would, uh, I, having been one uh, myself, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think our good Lord would ever behave in such a manner uh, to to uh, cause such pain and anguish. Mm -hmm. No, the, these are uh, rigid extremists who who have in their mind that there are only males and females, and there's no mixing between them that anyone who believes that they're born in the wrong body, it's a terrible phrase, mm -hmm. but that's what folks often mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. uh, must be crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, what, they, what they cannot abide is an attack on this very foundation that they've built their whole lives around, that is male and female, mm -hmm. uh, a mas a masculine and feminine. And that's all there is, and you can't change. Yeah, but that is going to explode in the next two, two or three generations. You have the kids now with their ex. I mean, it's 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 going. That's that's these that's folks are on the wrong side of history. Oh, yeah, I yeah. believe. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope I'm around yeah, to yeah. see it, um, uh, because um, uh, um, yeah, they're they're wrong. But I, you know, this started as soon as Mr. Trump became president. Almost immediately, mm -hmm. one of the first activities mm -hmm. of the Department of Housing and Urban Development was to roll back policies that the Obama, Obama administration mm -hmm. had uh, put in effect to assist educational facilities yeah. mm -hmm. in working with their transgender Community. students, yeah. the community, mm -hmm. and to help 
keep them safe mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. Now, these were not laws, these mm -hmm. were guidelines. Mm -hmm. Threw away the guidelines. Why? Only, the only reason I can think of is to punish the, the, the transgender folks or to uh, uh, arouse sympathy and support from this right-wing mm -hmm. uh, uh, congregation of mm -hmm. folks. Mm -hmm. uh, because if any segment of a school population requires protection, uh, it's the transgender group. They're the ones who are most often bullied. Oh, yeah, no, and it's, and it's, these it's, were it's only guidelines. Very, and it's a very complicated because you have to fight the structure, how the school is organized. I mean, it's, it's a nightmare. It is. Yeah, it it's is. a nightmare. And, and so I, I, I see this, uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, this ban mm -hmm. announced by the president, uh, which is not yet a ban by any means. It, it has to go through a series oh, yeah. so, of so what legal are, steps. What, what, what are the, the, the steps now? There has to be a formal policy statement written mm -hmm. by the executive branch mm -hmm. that gets sent to the military hierarchy mm -hmm. where it gets reviewed. Mm -hmm. Then it gets sent to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Mm -hmm. And then they review it. Amendments are made. Mm -hmm. And then the military comes up with a plan, a program for implementing this. Yeah, you cool. can't just throw yeah. out yeah. 10,000. And does Congress have anything to do with it? Is I'm, not, get in? I'm no? not so sure. Okay. They, they, they may have in a peripheral way yeah. if, if people really object to uh -huh. this. But uh, um, I, I, I was very sad to see this. And uh, I'm not heartened at all by uh, the rote this uh, administration is taking. But uh, they will be on the wrong side. But you think they're going to go through? I don't because, know. Because I see a lot of blah, blah, and, 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 but, but to get through the process, it's quite another exercise. I, 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 mean, it, I, I, it's I think not you are right. Mm -hmm. I think it is, is simpler than this man believes, uh, uh, merely dictating no, what No, because he doing a tweet, it requires, you know, <laughs> 140 characters. It's, 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 it's relatively right. easy to uh, do. Uh, but now changing... Uh, As with much of what this man has done, mm -hmm. the, the details are not thought through. It's a, a knee-jerk kind of response. Um, so, so now we have a few, few minutes ah. left. Um, would you you write I do. you uh, and you wanted to also read if, something if, from uh, if I may from a I, book. I'm uh, uh, yes I'm a poet uh -huh. um, I've been writing for many years okay uh, I was a, a practiced maritime law for many many years yeah. I'm also a naval architect and marine engineer so ships and water and so on are, I have no are, secret for you <laughs> you know everything about it <laughs> well uh, I did uh, it's self-published, but okay. it's a novel in verse called okay. Incanabulum, uh -huh. and uh, that's a, a Latin name for uh, the straps that hold an infant into its cradle. Mm. And so the novel is about two families, and they're growing up, and they're having children, and births, and deaths, and so on, mm -hmm. and about people growing up, mm -hmm. people finding their way out of the cradle, mm -hmm. breaking the, the straps, so right. to speak. Okay. So uh, it's uh, 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 a metaphor in that respect. I'm working now on a, on a book about my transition, okay. of which this is a piece. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not realize it when I was writing it, but I realized but it so only later. Only later. We, uh, then it fits. <laughs> right. So, if I may, uh, sure. I'd like to read a bit from the, uh, the title poem, In Cannabulum, mm -hmm. um, and this is the um, uh, uh, narrator uh, speaking about his wishes for a, new, a newborn, okay. uh, newborn child. Mm -hmm. um, it is the spring of something missing, hardly seen or heard, the pause that follows thought, wound tight by want or dream. That is the place to enter in, to begin or begin again, down winding paths through toppled blocks and strewn stones, monuments to reasons ruined and long forgotten. Onward into forests thick and reaching, whose canopies are stirred by plaintive voices no one owns. Down among wild and docile ones, alone or huddled in herds, flocking on endless migrations, bent to the shapes of their cages, 
amidst those, those who toil around their many and grand foundations, still building some imposing edifice, a tower perhaps, to see how far they've come uh, or what greater distance they have to go. Or the bridge they plan to span, the chasm they point to excitedly, calling after others who, wide-eyed and fired by faith, see nothing for miles but miles and miles of sand and determined trudge on. And so must the child learn, in the light of laughter or at night dreaming dreams, when he cries what has begun, what ageless wizards he summons, what secrets compel their gates, in, in whose cradling arms and abracadabras lie in Cannabula. So that's from the title. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. Um, I'm delighted to meet you. I will have you again, and we will, uh, we will talk. Good. Okay. Uh, we, because there's much to talk about I know. transgender exactly. in general. That's yes. why you're going to come back. Okay? <laughs> Very good. Okay. Right. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for coming. That was Face to Face. And please keep watching your, uh, your news on uh, Presenza.com, and we will see you very soon. Thank you.